guys, what is up? I am back, and today I am going to be showing you guys how to get your first rocket launched in Galacticraft. So before we get into it, be sure you stick to the end of the video to see how to launch your first rocket. Be sure to watch all the way through, do not skip to the end, or else you will miss some stuff and will not be able to launch your rocket. So, be sure to like and subscribe, and let's get straight into it. So, first you're going to want uh, maybe a couple coal generators. You craft a coal generator with uh, four iron ingots, three copper, which is a new ore, one furnace, and an aluminum wire, which is three aluminum ingots, which is also a new ore, and then six wool. Then, you have the aluminum wire, which is crafted with three aluminum ingots and six wool, as I just showed you. So, you hook these up, you put some coal in, and they make some energy. Then you are going to want a solar panel, a basic solar panel, which is made with two aluminum wires, four compressed steel, which is made in the next machine. Uh, you also want a steel pole, which is made with the compressed steel. A uh, basic wafer, which is in the machine after that, and full solar panel, which is made with six single solar modules, three aluminum wires. Single solar modules are made with three aluminum wires, three glass, and three blue solar wafers, which are made in the machine after that machine. So, you hook all of these up wherever they have this little red spot right here with the wires. Then, you have it hooked up into an energy storage module, which is made with six compressed steel and batteries, which is five compressed tin, uh, one redstone, and one coal. And then you have your compressor, which is what you need to make the steel. So say we grab some iron and coal. So we're going to put... Uh, this in here and we're also going to put some coal right here and it will slowly start compressing i would recommend getting the electric version of it so that you can use it with your other stuff which is made with two aluminum wires four compressed steel compressed tin and the normal compressor and the advanced wafer which is in the next machine so we made the compressed iron we put them like this and we put a coal uh, actually, oh, there we go. Now you you put one compressed iron with two coal in there. It will slowly start compressing, and once it is done, you will have a compressed steel. So the next machine you are going to want is the circuit fabricator. You make this with um, two aluminum wires, two aluminum ingots one lever, one redstone torch, two buttons, and a furnace. You open this up, and you're going to want to get some redstone, redstone torch, a redstone repeater, a diamond. You will also want some uh, silicone, which you find in the mines, and you will also want some lapis. So, you open this up, and you have it hooked up on the green part, actually, because that's the input. So, you put your diamond up here. We're actually going to want more. You put your redstone right here. You put your silicone right here. You put your redstone torch or whatever up here. The redstone torch is for the basic wafer. The redstone repeater is for the advanced wafer. And the lapis is for the... Um, Solar wafer, or small solar wafer, I'm pretty sure is what it's called. So, the next thing you are going to want to get is the NASA workbench. You make the NASA workbench with four compressed steel, two levers, a crafting table, an advanced wafer, and a redstone torch. With this, you can build your first rocket. So, you are going to want some heavy duty plates, um, tier one heavy duty plates, which are made like with uh, two compressed bronze, two compressed aluminum, and two compressed steel all in the compressor. Then you will also want one uh, nose cone, which is made with three heavy duty plates and a redstone torch. 
you will want um you will want a tier one rocket engine which is crafted with four heavy duty plates uh, any type of or like a tin or copper canister a flint and steel a button and an oxygen an oxygen vent which is made with one compressed steel and three compressed tin and then you will want uh, four rocket fins which are made with four heavy duty plates and two compressed steel each so you put your rocket fins in right there you put your engine down here you have your heavy duty plate your eight heavy duty plates right there and your nose cone on the top and you have your tier one rocket the next thing you are going to want to get is the refinery the refinery is made with some sort of rock uh, two compressed steel, a furnace, and two copper canisters. In this, you will put crude oil, which you find underground in caves. It has like a blacky brown kind of texture, or kind of look. And you get it in a bucket, and make sure you have it hooked up to the electricity. And now, you put your bucket in here, and it will go in here. And you put multiple buckets in here, and it will go right in here. You press refine and it will refine into fuel once you have it refined into fuel you can take it out with your bucket over here or your empty liquid canisters up here and make sure you have your aluminum wire running into your fuel loader but before we do that the refinery i already showed you how to make uh, the fuel loader you will put your fuel in here and make sure you have it um, have energy in here. It is crafted with five compressed copper, a tin canister, basic wafer, and two compressed tin. And you will this will be what you use to load fuel into your rocket. So then you're going to want nine rocket launch pads, which are made with three blocks of iron and three compressed iron. This is all you need to get all nine of them. And you put them in a three by three grid like this and you put your rocket on top you go to your fuel loader press load fuel and it will start loading fuel you will also want a parachute which is made of three string and three canvas which are five string and two sticks each and that is how you get your first rocket and ready to launch it into space. The next tutorial will be how to survive in space and what you need before you launch your rocket. Thank you all so much for watching and sticking to the end of the video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.